Jackman. Jake. Uh, you know, I always, you always make me feel underdressed. Sorry please. to cut in there, no, mate. Please, but look, please. I mean, we look at this. Come on, that's best dressed list. I appreciate it. Average dress. I appreciate list. it. Oh, please, come on, come on. <laughs> look, at that. I'm sitting across from the Wolverine. I, I got to man it's up true. a little bit. I got to man up. I can wear what um, I want. I, I've been following this film a long time. There's a there's a period of time in which uh, the great Darren Aronofsky yes. was going to direct it. Yep. I was wondering what was the biggest difference between their two visions. What was the difference between what Mr. Aronofsky was going to do mm. versus what James Mangold did? Not as it. not as big as you'd imagine because uh, Darren, like James, really responded to the original script. Mm that Chris McQuarrie wrote because it was so strong and it was one of those ones he wrote in like three weeks, you know. Um, and, you know, uh, we did have Scott Frank come on board. We had others come on board just to help define it, but really not that different. And, and Darren, who's a great mate of mine who couldn't do the movie, had some great ideas, which we nicked. And I told you, I'm nicking those ideas. Are you? Yeah. yeah. Is, is no worry. I'm taking them. Okay, that's good to know. Is yeah. there any truth to the, to the rumor that there was potentially going to be an R rating for this movie? Yeah, no, we talked about it. We, we talked about it right to the end, actually. We... Funnily enough, we made the movie true to the character. We honestly finished the movie not knowing if it was going to be PG-13 or R-rated. Mm -hmm. All I kept saying is I run into 10, 12, 14, 15-year-old boys and girls where Wolverine's not just cool and great, can't wait. It means something to them. And I kept saying, if we're going to make this R-rated, we have to have an incredible reason to deliberately exclude them. Fair because enough. I have to face him in the street. Exactly. And I have to say to him, yeah, yeah, sorry, next one's for you. Or give him a reason to sneak in, <laughs> which was my childhood. That never yeah, happens. Yeah, exactly. Never, ever. Um, I read a very interesting quote from I'd you. I'd like a ticket yeah, for, for uh, Despicable Me yeah, too, too, please. Yeah, all by my, with, with my Wolverine shirt on. Um, <laughs> my employer wants to say thank you for saving his life all those years ago. <laughs> There is a time when our enemies knew honor. I wanted to offer you something no one else can. A gift. You have struggled long enough. I can end your eternity. Make you mortal. I read a, uh, a very interesting quote from you uh, talking about uh, the fans' disappointment in X-Men Origins Wolverine. You yep. said that I had something to prove and we could have done better. I left unsure if we achieved our goal. And I was wondering, mm. from an actor's perspective, what under what circumstances does an actor feel comfortable criticizing his past work? Uh, well, it's always difficult. I mean, in, in some ways, actors like me are always critical and always want to improve. But... I never want to begrudge the people I worked with. I never want to put a slide on there because when we did that film, like this film, we put in 150%, n nothing less than that. So if it doesn't work out in the end, often you don't know that till the movie's made, you know? So I don't want to diss people, but in the end, when I look back at it, I thought it, what we did was end up having so many mutants, it became almost like another X-Men movie, for, for better or worse, what people thought. And I wanted to make a movie that was about this character because I always loved this character and I thought there was so much in it. And when we, in the studio, and it was actually Darren Aronofsky who came up with the idea of the title, I was really excited because it's like, for better or worse, right. this is not going to be filled with millions of mutants. This is going to be about this guy. What they did to me. What I am. Can't be undone. So sure. I'm not healing it before. His flesh is weak now. Eternity can be a curse. A man can run out of things to live for.
that they ain't here yet. Oh.